Hey folks, welcome to The View. Jer here on Tuesday, the 18th of October. Uh, some logistics to get out of the way. If you are new to the channel, we do daily leads, news, content, except for Sundays, and we do match reviews on a Monday. If you're a fan of the channel, if you like what we do here, you can press the like button, which will actually show you similar content to this on your YouTube feed, so other leads vloggers as well. And if you want to stick around and get notifications on it, you can subscribe to the channel as well. That's my one a week. I won't ask again this week. I just do it once. Um, so let's crack on with the news because there's a fair bit floating around after yesterday's absolutely nothing to talk about. Um, bar the match, we move on. And we'll start off with some transfer targets. And Leeds United have been linked already this month with Leon King at Rangers. The 18-year-old Rangers centre-back who's been playing consistency this, consistently this year with the first team uh, was linked strongly with Leeds amongst other clubs who are keeping an eye on him. Um, and lo and behold, former Leeds goalkeeper who seems to have a real problem with Leeds, uh, Paul Robinson has come out and has said that for him, the player would be better off staying at Rangers. He said you have to question whether it would be wise for him to come and play in the Premier League at the age of 18. Would he be included in the squads? Would he end up playing on the 21s or would he be loaned out? Robinson also said that Premier League clubs are trying to sign young players on the cheap and then try and sign them before they become big players. It's pretty transparent, Paul. Pretty obvious what everyone's trying to do. And if you're a Leeds fan and you're a Leeds player and you're a Leeds fan and you're a club, it makes sense to go in and get the players. It, it, Paul Robinson makes some odd comments about Leeds, considering he played for Leeds for so long and got his start at Leeds. Um, he doesn't seem to like Leeds very much. I don't know why they keep asking his opinion on it. But anyway, that's that one. So Rangers, Leon King, link with Leeds again. Paul Robinson saying he should stay where he is. Uh, other players link with Leeds, and USA men's national team player Weston McKenney, who's currently at Juventus, has been linked with Leeds amongst other clubs today. Bizarre one, considering he's a, he's a central midfielder, attacker kind of player that Leeds don't really probably need, but he's... Um, Leeds are set to keep an, like, keeping an eye on the 24-year-old who is out of favour currently at Juventus. He has got six goals, or, sorry, he has got eight goals in six to 64 appearances for Juve. Um, but Juve are struggling this season, down in 10th position in the league, and West McKinney find themselves out of the team. He has been linked strongly with Leeds, Chelsea, Manchester United, Spurs, Dortmund, Atletico Madrid, and Aston Villa. Um, Leeds would obviously have that connection, the American connection there as well, if it's a player to bring in. Good player, good player. Um, not sure we need him. Not sure who would drop out if he came in, but yeah, an interesting one to be linked with. Um, moving on to under-21 news, and Leeds United under-21s will take their next steps in the Papa John's Trophy uh, on Thursday night when they play Bolton. And they are currently second in the Northern Group B. Um, and a win against Bolton would actually see Leeds progress through into the next round. It's a strange one because Leeds first team are also playing on the same night, so the game probably won't be televised. It'll probably be on LUTV. But also with that, you've got the problem with uh, Joe Gallhart and Willie Nonto, who look like they won't be part of that on the 21 team for that game. Big game from the win they go through. But they are very much part of the, 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 the first team of Leeds. You, Nonto didn't feature at all in the matchday squad for Leeds last weekend. Um, so it's possible he could play. But Will Joffe, uh, also just to mention, Sam Green was suspended for that game after his red card in the last round, uh, or the last game. And um, Harvey Sutcliffe is confirmed to be able to win an ACL tear, a full tear. So Harvey's looking at a long road back, but he's been great for Leeds on 21s this season. We wish him a speedy, speedy recovery. Um, moving on to existing Leeds players, and Rodrigo has come out on Instagram and Twitter with an apology to the Leeds fans for his incredible, incredible crossfield ball the weekend. Um, he basically, he said, many times the learning process is given through errors. Uh, he said, my bad yesterday, looking forward to the next one. I, I, I was listening to Square Ball um, saying that uh, he thought Rodrigo was having a very good game. So did I. I thought he was excellent up until that ball. Um, he'd just done the crossfield ball for Aronson before that, which was absolutely brilliant. But um, yeah, that didn't, that didn't happen. Um, and then moving on to Marcelo Bielsa, he was offered the River Plate job this week and they said he can't take the job because he cannot manage a team who will play against a team whose stadium bears his name, referring to Newell's old boys. So that's that's off the cards for him. News will just give him the job back. Newell's just offer him the job back. And then finally, uh, Kai Wagner, who's been linked with Leeds heavily over this uh, season and, and the off season. Um, MLS reporter Tom Bogart has said that he expects Wagner to move to Europe in January. Uh, he is currently still playing with the Union. They are in the semi-final of the playoffs currently. They're playing Cincinnati on Thursday night. Another game on Thursday night to keep an eye out for. He's eight goals and 33 appearances, and he's been nominated for Defender of the Year in the MLS. He's on the great season. He is out of contract in December, so if Leeds were to go in from in January, it would be a free transfer, which is a free hit. you gotta, you got to grab that. You can maybe understand now why negotiations have been going on consistently in the background so that's that's that so transfer rumors Leon King advised with Paul Robinson to stay put 
when Weston McKenney being monitored by Leeds amongst other clubs uh, and Kai Wagner nominated for player uh, defender of the year this year as well as the under 21 news there so there's your news for today in just about under five minutes close enough uh, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for more news bye